Welcome back to the Fantasy. I'm Mocha Fantasy. I'm the Axe Warrior. I'm Jackie Gray. And welcome to another episode of Let's Draw. Wow, that looks like a long face. Like, you know, I just remembered, forehead. I wanted to show you guys the title card, the really nice one gonna... that slide out. I wanted to show you yeah. guys that, like, not before this. Oh, I was going like, to, like, reveal oh, it to you. Oh, yeah, and I'd be like, wow, this is F. Yeah, so I'm happy about that. I got, I made a new title card. I mm -hmm. uh, didn't pay anybody. Did it myself from scratch. Nice. All that good Show stuff. So nice. I hope you, the viewer, uh, enjoys it, uh, upping the quality of my content a little bit more every day. Yeah, I gotta start up my content, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your content and quality, by the way. <laughs> quality? What do you mean quality? I like how it what? looks like yours. That's what yeah, I thought too. She has when I was like the, this the cat ears. Thing and I just wanted to be known, by the way. Mm. Uh, guys, mm. David and James, mm. and fantasizers mm. and viewers alike, and mm. sexy so ladies on. out there. <laughs> <laughs> you very beautiful men. Anyway, um, horse. I still, I still suck at painting on Photoshop. Ah. I know you guys said it looked nice, but you're my friends, and you guys <laughs> can't critique me. Yeah, um, right. But um, I'm still practicing at my art, and I'm still trying to learn and watch videos and, and get better at it, so bear with me. Uh, you guys are gonna just come along for the ride as I learn how to paint. But I think that's kind of fun. I mean, yeah. if you guys enjoy like us talking and commentating on the stuff, and also maybe you guys can learn some tips too, you kind of can learn with me. I, I, this, is a, this is a channel for amateurs, okay? No yeah. professional artists allowed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? I, I, always, I always welcome critiques of my art and so I could get better. But yeah. yes, just for uh, people who maybe not are not as good as artwork, and we can learn together. I mean, how cool is that? Maybe if, yeah. you, if you suck, you can learn. Yeah! <laughs> and so, I mean, I'd love to see art. I'd love to see people's DeviantArt accounts. As, well, I mean, obviously I look at DeviantArt all the time. I mean, oh, the subscribers and viewers, um, if you come on here, go ahead and comment your DeviantArt below. I would love to check out your artwork. And I mean, even yeah. if you're not professional and you're just okay, or you're amateur, maybe you just like, maybe you're like 10 and you don't know how to draw, <laughs> but you <laughs> like to. I love to all check yeah. it all out anyway oh, yeah. as well. Um, also, Certainly. again, you do subscriber submitted artwork um, that we um, wait, wait, hold on. How'd that go? We did the subscriber submitted stuff where we talk about it, or we would. Oh, it was the short story stuff. We would take short stories and then and draw, draw, them. draw them out. Most so, of that was creepypasta. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, those are welcome as well. But yeah, we can just learn together. I mean, I'm not, I'm not professional, but I am, I'm, I'm decent enough. You know, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that certainly. we can learn together. When I learn a certain tip with artwork and everything, then I will pass it on for sure. Yes, indeed. So, um, you know, the sketching. I never know what brushes to use. I never oh. know how to professionally how do like do what it? brushes to use. So I just kind of pick something, and when I write, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. That's kind of nice. Um, oh, okay. You can see she, it's kind of it's almost like water paint it, right yeah, now. That, the it sketch does look kind of like. I water. chose a brush Whoa, that like had a tilted. Um, it was like an oval, and then it's tilted, kind of uh -huh. like a calligraphy type of deal. There you go. That that. And I also have the pen pressure on as well. That's another thing is I see these artists on these tutorials like, oh yeah, draw like this and use this brush or not this brush, but they'll be like, yeah, you got to paint it soft like this and you <laughs> opacity and like, oh, you know, God. and sculpt it and mold it like this. <laughs> and then I'm just like, well, what brush do I use? <laughs> uh. I don't need, like, they don't, they don't tell you, I mean, does it matter? It almost feels like it matters sometimes. They, they, those certain brushes have textures to them. Yeah. Which, this time, I went with a more rougher texture. Um, last paint, I was kind of trying to go for something smoother. But for this one, like, the shadow right now kind of looking kind of cool. But Yeah, that's uh, looking yeah. awesome. I wanted to go for more of a um, rougher texture. So you'll probably notice um, that I'm using a more rougher brush. And I wanted this time, this, this practice, to look more like, a, more like a paintbrush. You know, less pencil, yeah. less airbrush. Uh -huh. And just more brush. So you'll see once we start getting to the clothes, especially mm -hmm. that the texture brushes I use, they're very, they're very, uh, lack of a better word, textured. You know, they've got little grooves in them and everything. Uh -huh. And I, I kind of like that for clothes because clothes are not smooth. You know, clothes yeah, are very, really. um, they have texture in them. Yeah. So I like to kind of use the dual brush tool to kind of get, you know, the smoothness in the middle, but then you get the, the textures outside and everything. So, mm -hmm. whoa! Oh. <laughs> it looks so yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. It's There's like a soul. clay. 
That's what you said last time. I it did say like that. Your soul. I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, soul. Yeah. Well, this time it kind of looks more like clay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like clay. <laughs> the, and the so I, I think like. I am using a textured brush for the face. However, the next drawing I'm doing, uh, we're oh. going to be. I want to go as smooth as possible, so I'm going full on airbrush for that. Smooth skin on this. Didn't yeah, because the shadows have to be smooth. Well, that's not what I mean. Because look, you can tell. It almost like she has wrinkles though, but you can tell it's not smooth. Like you said, it looks like clay. Uh -huh. oh. It's not a smooth fade, and I did do that on purpose. I don't suck that bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I did do it on purpose to have the shading like not fully blend, but kind of look like clay, kind of. Uh -huh. um, I wanted to go for that texture a little bit and see how it went, and I kind of like it. But uh, next drawing, definitely going to go with a smooth airbrush look, as smooth as possible. And I'm also going to keep some lines in it as well. Go for a more cartoony look, less mm. realism. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to use the pen tool as well because... I want to give it a shot. I'm going to sketch it out by hand, but go over it with a pen tool with a very thin, like one pixel, one or two pixels thick. Get mm -hmm. a very thin outline, and then that way the line won't be seen very well. Also, I'm not going to make it black. I'm going to go with like a brown. Brown. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that it goes with um, the skin color and stuff. Okay. Also, nice. the clothing, black for clothes, you know. Yeah. All yeah. Well, her clothes are black anyway. Um, well, yeah, I've been, I've been talking too much. Yeah. Guys, have you anything on your minds here or what? Well, I mean, we already talked about the texture. I, I uh, noticed it looked kind of like clay. And, I thought it was uh, interesting how you erased the left, I guess that would be her right eye, right? Yeah, her right her eye. Her right eye. How you erased it and then copied the left and dra like dragged it I over. I did? Oh. You did? Yes, yes I did. Wait, because what? What I was not... Yeah, you and I weren't paying attention. You were staring at the screen when I did it. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh. But yeah, the <laughs> eyes weren't coming out. Um, they they weren't coming out symmetrical, and I was getting upset. And I've seen artists do that before, where they uh, they'll copy it. They'll do the lasso tool or whatever tool. It doesn't really matter. I just prefer the lasso tool because it's less work. You do <laughs> around in a circle, <laughs> grab it, and then copy it over. And then right. as you can see now, the eyes are truly symmetrical. You know. Other than, you know, more pencil that I did on top of it to make them look unique in each way. But uh -huh. I think that's that's a good thing to do, to copy the eye over, you know? Yeah, I, yeah, I, know, you, I know you do that. But, you know, that's just one of the wonders of digital art. Yeah, you can do things yeah, like every, that. You can be so perfect and precise and fine with digital art. It's yeah. so fun, so it's, fun. Yeah. Someday I hope to try it you know, yes yes you got what you got to do is you got to learn photoshop man mm. um, oh, yeah because that's what you're using yeah yeah you gotta you gotta get yourself a mouse david <laughs> for the hundredth time in like three months uh, you gotta get yourself a mouse so you can do line art do line art yeah uh, learn how to do photoshop that's how i mean i got started with photoshop when i was like in junior high Wow. You guys never, I know you didn't, James, but David, you didn't have Photoshop until we started hanging out, right? Um, yeah, no, I didn't, I hadn't even I mean, touched you, it. How much do, oh, the eyes are coming in. Uh, oh, I, nice I am in. very proud of the eyes I did in this one, though. Yeah. Very proud. Um, <laughs> all the eye stuff that I've wow. learned Little really detail. was from, um, my my line art with the with the mouse is when I would used to do like the almost like vectoring but it wasn't vector it was I would just make shapes with the with the select tool and I'd fill it in and then I'd add shading and then I'd add the glow effects and stuff and I would do them really I would use computer aid all too much wow. and I learned how to do make eyes all shiny and stuff from that and so I brought that over with the pen Looks freaking awesome. Yeah. It's like staring right into my oh, soul. That's so good. And another thing I learned, I'm gonna come back to the Photoshop thing, but another okay. thing that I learned about the eyes, um, in the lessons that I was looking at recently, was the the shine on the eyes, the big circle part, yeah. does not face the light source. Really? Maybe in anime and cartoons it does, but really? in real life it doesn't. And the reason why that is is because eyes are curved. They're curvature. They're mm, convex. Right. They're, right. They're convex. So what the what the light does is it. I mean, I can show you guys, but for the listeners, just imagine it. I guess if you can. Yeah. Um, yeah. the light comes through the eye, through that layer on the top. I forgot what it's called. But then it comes through and it reflects to the other side. And so you're, the big circle is you're seeing the reflection of the light coming through the lens of the eye oh. and popping out on the other side. That's, that's so insane. That's so freaking cool. So and so I learned that. And so that's... So that's, now you know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then everything else is just kind of fun. I want to... I see the eyes are kind of like painted, kind of, but they're still shiny and smooth and I like that. But in the next drawing, I'm really going to go for like... You can see on my reference picture with Riel on the left. 
her eyes perfectly smooth and all that stuff. And I want, I'm gonna go for a really smooth look next time, really. Mm. And I'm gonna aim next time, more yeah. for a cartoonish, you know, very heavy on the lines. Oh, okay. okay. Ooh, um, well, I look forward to that. I haven't I like done that, that yet. I've been doing painting, yeah. and I like painting, and I think it's helped. But I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a mix. So I'm still gonna paint, but I'm gonna airbrush paint, not like brush paint. And are you, are you gonna use like the? The uh, what, what was the line tool that you? Built? Yes, the the, the line tool, the pen tool. Yeah, so you're yeah. gonna you're gonna use the line tool to make the outlines and everything. Yes. Ooh. Yes. That's gonna yes. Be, oh, and I'm like gonna make kind. sure the line is super thin. It's gonna be uh, like one or two pixels thick, mm -hmm. so that you can barely see it. But it's gonna allow me to use the drop bucket and use a select yeah. tool and really get really clean and crisp on the lines. Yeah. And we'll see. I might get rid of them, but I really do want to keep them in because I'm going to be drawing uh, Mako and Korra. So I don't think I said that yet, but oh. that's coming out next week. Um, check that out. It's gonna be fun. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So I think I think that's all I was gonna say on the eyes. I just I love eyes so just, much. I know, man. So freaking much. <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> it's um, they're definitely. But as far as Photoshop goes, um, digressing back a few minutes. Yeah. Um, if you want if you want to start doing this stuff, I strongly recommend getting into Photoshop now. Um, because mm -hmm. I was doing mm -hmm. Photoshop back when I was in, in uh, junior high. Yeah. And I, I would make, I would doctor photos and really? do photo wow. editing, and I'd make Dude. my eyes like red, and I'd make myself the Terminator, and <laughs> do That's fun so little cool. projects like that, <laughs> and that wow. helped me kind of get into digital art a little better. Um, I did do, I do, I was doing really good with digital art um, with a with a mouse. Um, you can see on my Facebook and DeviantArt oh. account. Oh, um, well, you, right, because you, you those, traced yeah. over a drawing. Yeah, I would draw them by hand, and then I trace them, which is how you do line art. You know, if you don't have a, a pencil, you can you can just use a line tool with a mouse yeah. or the pen tool. So, and me... but that's where my skill came from with Photoshop. Is yeah. I had all those skills with like the pen, the the the, the brushes, the tools. Um, and how you do layers and all that stuff, and I already learned all that stuff and how you know all the hotkeys and everything. Mm -hmm. So when it came to actually drawing, it was really easy to make that transition. Wow. Okay. So even if you're not drawing, you should start learning Photoshop if this is what you want to do in the future. Okay. So, so then you you've always been using Photoshop to edit your art, like yes. like like you said, a lot of your older drawings are colored. Yeah. And they look. Uh, you weren't using paint though, huh? You were using what were you using then? For if what? Because right here you're using you're using paint, the paint tool. Yeah, the brush tool. The brush tool. So like, what tool were you using before to get those like very angled, like crisp, sharp? You mean like look. the outlines or the color? Like like your background here. I can't open it. Oh yeah, no problem. But, yeah, uh, the background. Oh yeah, the one where we did. Yeah, like that. That. Mm. See how it's all sharp and. The lines are yeah, cool. so it's that, not like smooth and faded and fading yeah. and like. And I mean, the viewers are seeing it now. I'm gonna put it up in the, in yeah. the post. Mm -hmm. But uh, I do like this one because I like the colors. They say that no, you don't want your colors to be too <laughs> bright or whatever. But I like that. I uh -huh. feel like this is very unique to me. I like the bright neon colors, the blues and the pinks and the reds and the yeah. Oh, and the lightning. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do for the next one with Cora yeah. and Mako. It's gonna be vibrant, bright colors, Ooh, and it's gonna yeah. be like everything's gonna be glowing. It's gonna be fire mm. bending in it. Wow. Um, yeah. And it's gonna be in a field of green grass with oh, the sunlight yeah. I'm gonna put sun rays in it ah, I'm like so excited oh, <laughs> anyway man, gonna be a good um, one. yeah and so what I would do <coughs> excuse me oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna die <laughs> um, no what I'm gonna do what I did I mean was I would draw it by hand mm -hmm. um, and then I would go over all of the lines with the mouse with the pen tool oh, okay so you would just click here click here kind of like connect the dots and then, and then you can you can round out the lines so uh, with the mouse, and by by when you hold down the pin dot, you can stretch it kind of across and, and okay. kind of make um, make it go around. I guess it'll make sense if you use Photoshop. Just grab the grab the pin dot and slide it, and you'll get the effect. Okay. Um, yeah, and that, I did all the lines that way. Okay. And then how I colored it was I did the select tool, which I think it's W for the wand, magic wand. Um, on Photoshop and then you just select inside there and it'll select the space inside the lines um, Then you can use the bucket tool with uh, I think it's G for bucket and then you dump it in there And you just dump the whole folder whole folder whole um, Colors bodies all that dump all that mm. and then as far as the shadows go I did the same thing I did the select tool so I selected within the range of the body or the area I wanted to paint mm -hmm. and then I would use on top of that I'd use the pen tool to color in the shadows Okay. And then, and then for so special, it's a totally different process. Yeah, I mean, it's very similar, 
but with a mouse, that's how you would do it. And that's how I seem to do it. From so I see it done with artists online. Okay. Um, and that's how you'll be doing it, David, uh, on mm -hmm. your computer um, until you get a, a digital pad. Right. Um, so, oh, those nails look so bad. <laughs> oh. I didn't know what to do with the nails, man. Did you look at pictures of her nails to find no, out? Oh, hey, look. That's the episode. Click here for part two and see it. Uh, well, it's posted at the same time, I think. Yeah. I'm putting these up in the, in the same day. So look for it on my channel or click right there and boom, you're it. Have yeah. a good one. Yeah.